Peyton, just uh, can, can you look at this, your season as a whole, um, how far you, you've come and, and what do you need to do to take that next step forward like Eme challenged everybody to do last night? You know, this is a this season's probably been one of my biggest growths mentally. Just starting off the season, you know, it was a different uh, situation. I wasn't playing at all for like the first 60 games, like in and out. Um, and then the trade deadline happened and then I got an opportunity to play and obviously, you know, carried out the season. We went to a championship and obviously we made a good run. But for me personally, just got to be better next year. Um, you know, come in, probably in the try to be in the best shape of my life next year. I think it's going to be a really important year for me. Um, so I'm going to do everything in my power to to be the best I can be to help the team. And I think everybody's taking that same mindset. And, uh, you know, going into next year, uh, try to try to make a statement and go back for it. Jared Weiss. Going up against that Warriors team, what do you feel like you learned personally for your own game and what the team learned overall about how pushing your offense to continue to move and be creative and not get bogged down? You know, I just think it's a it's a growth step. Uh, it's our first time being there. And obviously every game matters. You can't let any game slip away. Um, and I think their experience showed their their IQ at times. And uh for all of us, though, it's going to be a, it's a growing step and it's a learning experience. So take advantage of it. Bobby Manning. Hey, it sounded like uh, Emay's message to the team was come back better for each of you and the team as a whole. Just what, what does that mean for you? And what do you think specifically you have to work on this summer? And what are the steps you'll kind of take to get there? I did just, you know, adding uh, little parts to my game growing. I'm, you know, next year I have different goals in mind than it was necessarily for this year. You know, I'll, every year I want to expand my game and expand as a player and uh, add more value to this team. Um, you know, obviously coming in off the bench, I want to want to be an energy boost always. But um, it's a long season, so if I can carry more of the torch and I'll just be ready for that. Uh, and I think all of us are expecting that, you know, to collectively get better and carry it through the season. And then when we're in the playoffs, everybody's ready to go. Any final questions for Peyton? We've got one more final one from Bobby Manning. Follow up. All right, last one I got, Peyton, is what did the transition to EMA this season mean for you, especially when you were off the court and weren't playing and um, just kind of the encouragement and perspective he gave you as a former role player in this league? Um. It was obviously difficult uh, for me at first just because I wasn't playing. But, you know, I think Emei did a great job this year. Uh, just came in, and I think a lot of people, you know, had, we had doubters right away. Obviously, we didn't start the season like we wanted to, but you, everybody bought in, and we made a run at the end, and we kind of set the tone for the future and for years to come. Um, what, you know, we set an expectation now. So, and uh, we're just going to build on that. Gary Washburn. Hey, Peyton, um, I guess the key is consistency. How do you become more consistent? Obviously, you are a good shooter. You can knock them down five, six threes in a game at times. You can you got that flow, but then there's sometimes when you struggle. How do you find that consistency? Is that the biggest obstacle as a young player is to become that guy that can you be reliable every night? Well, I think my first goal is going to be, you know, finding – a cons consistent minutes every night and where I can gain the trust where I can be out there, you know, for 20 minutes a night, maybe more. So instead of it fluctuating, I think that would be my biggest goal going into the next year is to, to earn that right to, to play those certain minutes and be trusted to, to do that game in game out and deliver. So um, shots will fall, you know, I'll be better next year. I'm going to keep growing, but um, just the playing time alone. Hopefully it'll be more consistent next year.